everybody, what's going on? It's Shadows of the Moon. It's Missy at Shadows of the Moon. Whatever. Um, this is the monthly horoscope for my air buddies, my Libras, my Geminis, and my Aquariuses. I'm a Libra too, so let's hope this is a good month. Let's see what we got here. For air signs for the month of May. Remember, this is a general reading. So some things might not resonate with you. It all might resonate with you. And if it don't resonate, What's going on? What do we got going on for the month of May for my air signs? Hello. Seven, eight, one more, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. These came out first. We got these ones. Mm. Really, really. Okay, so let me get my confirmation. Is this the reading for my air signs for the month of May? All right. Second confirmation. Is this... Is this is this my yes? All right, let's get this going here. The first card I got up, which is how you're feeling right now, the current situation. Um, we got the Six of Swords. Okay, and the Six of Swords is leaving on a boat, obviously. Um, going somewhere better. This is how... Yeah. And what I do is I... Oh, we got a bonus card in here. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to use that as a clarifier. The second card, which is the theme of the month, is the Emperor. Into my thing out loud. This third card, which is the key goal, is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. And the Nine of Pentacles is basically talking about financially and material, material oh my goodness, materialistically comfort comfortable um getting in that mindset of being secure stable i like this reading so far the fourth card is the three of wands and that's in the obstacles to overcome so what that's telling me 
Obstacles to all. Because the, the three lines usually signifies like the reaping of your rewards and everything. But if it's an obstacle, maybe. Let me see. Let's go on and we'll see what comes of that. I'm kind of getting something, but that makes sense what I'm getting is us being good in the month of May um, feeling with what we've accomplished but with the obstacle of the three of wands Again, I wonder, yeah, it's kind of like, like, so what I'm getting is basically we, we're not used to having the stability of we like balance, yes, but we're usually worrying about stuff, right? And we're used, usually worrying about financial and stability and stuff like this. This is getting, to me, the Three of Wands is telling me it's getting overconfident. Um, so, like, hold back on, on gloating, which sometimes we tend to do. We are air signs. Um, so, watch the gloating this month. right so be careful entrepreneurship right now <laughs> because the three of the three of wands is also about enterprise so okay okay what i'm getting is is uh don't put all our eggs in one basket put all our eggs in one basket be thankful for what we got and that it's going in a good way but don't put out one basket. i tell you this is why i do this because i get these little notions of what the cards mean and what when it all comes together and everything so um yeah okay what to embrace
And the Ace of Pentacles is debt. So what that's telling me, since it's in our embracement, you know, being successful, we're, we got the stuff going and everything. Be humble and, and like what we normally are, right? Or how we normally are. Um, But don't, don't go on a spending spree or anything like that. Just relax and let it sit there for a moment, if that makes sense. Um, the next card, which is where to find support, we got the Ace of Swords. Now... No card. No, that's not going to happen. So, I think it's talking about this enterprise. Maybe some of you have, have thought about, excuse me for the sniffling, it's springtime and it's, my allergies are acting up. I'm so sorry. Um, so, We've gotten three cards now that says don't do it. Okay. And advice and encouragement is the three of swords up reversed. And reversed means torment. So I'm thinking if we, if you do this business enterprise or idea, Um, don't forget where we come from about like being kind to people and, and humble and usually in debt. Um, <laughs> so, how to act. We're like, oh yeah, let's do this and let's do that. Don't do that. You know, obviously have fun with it, but don't. opportunity or a good business opportunity Basically, a fifth card saying don't do it. It's about meteorocracy. God, I can't talk. Um, I mean, if it came up like this, if it came up upright, it's basically uh, meaningful work and, and stuff like that, but it's reversed. So... If you do go forth with this business pr proper uh, proposal or whatever you have in the works right now, you're going to get bored of it. Okay. Now let's see if any clear other clarifiers want to come out. Any clarification for this reading for the month of May for my air signs? Is there any more? Okay. Is there any more clarification? The first one that came out. There's two there. Okay. Go ahead. 
I can grab them. The first one that came out was the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Seven of Pentacles reversed unemployment. Again, business not going to look great. They're not going to look good. Um, the next one that came out was the Knight of Swords. Um, fierce and determined. So this person, if you are, if somebody's asking you for a business proposal, um, they might be a little snippy with you when you tell them no. Um, or just apt to go after your goals, which I mean is good, but when it comes to a business proposition or um, taking on an enterprise, a new business or something, that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Um, I'm feeling like over, like I'm just going to, you know how us air signs are. We're just like, when we get into our mindset, we're just focused. We're going for that. And it's not a good thing in this situation. The next card that popped out for... The world reversed is talking about being incomplete. And I think that goes along with the Three of Pentacles being reversed. It just, uh, being incomplete, it's going to bore you. It's not going to be what you want. You might think it right now that, oh, it's what I want. I, oh, it's what I want. This is showing me it's not going to be what you want. And the last card that came out was the High Priestess, for clarification. And the High Priestess is telling you, you know, go within. Um, think about things more clearly. Don't jump to every, you know, even though right now it seems like we're going to get the extra that we need for the month and, you know, feel like and safe and and you know stable and just awesome just don't overdo it don't overdo it all right airy or aries it's been a long day one clarification from the wisdom oracle please not clarification but just an oracle what do we need to know in our highest for air signs? Is there anything we need to know for the month of May? Say a little. Clean it up. That kind of goes with what I was talking about. Really actually look at the plan. Look at what you're investing. Look at what, whether it be your money, your time, whatever. Look at it more securely. Or look at it more uh, thoroughly, if that makes sense. All right. And one more from Earth Magic. I get an oracle from Earth Magic for the month of May for my, a my Libras, my... Aquarius is in my Gemini. Gemini. I cannot talk today. My Gemini's celebration. See? Dance. Dance that we got this. We're finally feeling secure. How many times does that happen for Libras? We never feel secure and stable. Ever. So, it's our time to shine. about spending any extra money. Let's live like we normally live in debt. <laughs> or at least a feeling of debt. And uh, don't um overdo it. 
That's what I'm getting. Just don't overdo it. Be happy. This is a good month. It's really a good reading. It really was. I mean, for it to be about us being stable and secure and, and just feeling all of Geminis or Aquarius is we're always up in our head about things. Always worrying about things. So that right there is just a blessing. And I could see where some of us could get carried away of, oh, I can do this and I can do this and I can do this. And then being back where we began. Worrying about money. So there you go, guys. That's all I have for you this month. I hope this suits you and I hope it made sense. And, um, I will catch you next month. Thank you so much for looking, liking, and listening to me today. And I hope you all have a wonderful month. Take care. Bye.